Hello everyone and welcome. Today I'm going to be talking about the Libriomancer. <clears throat> now when I first, uh, you know, picked this thing up, I was thinking maybe it would be something like the paper type manipulation deals that, I w that I've seen in uh, like uh, that one girl do use in Read or Die where she just like manipulated paper so we could either like block bullets or use a hang glider or something like that. And while it wasn't that, it was still really cool. I, in fact, I would almost think even possibly cooler than the paper manipulation stuff that she was doing. And this is basically like, they, they, they can actually uh, reach into the book and uh, pull stuff out. You know, like, um, I don't know, pulling out uh, Conan's sword or uh, or finding a Star Wars book and pulling out a lightsaber. This is really awesome. And, um, well, I'll just get to the, the, the story is uh, that there's this um, big uh, conspiracy of stuff happening and how um, the, uh, like, vampires are, like, attacking uh, various porters and, I mean, uh, Libriomancers and, um, and uh, the, um, and like uh, alchemists and whatever wizards and whatnot, and um, <clears throat> and uh, yeah, and um, they're and it's kind of like up to uh, our resident libriomancer Isaac Vanio, or yeah, Isaac Vanio, and his dryads kind of semi not girlfriend, kind of wind up going to be kind of girlfriend later on, um, uh, uh, Zelina, Lena. And uh, his pet pet spider smudge uh, fire spider, and they gotta like, you know, figure out like what's going on, uh, what's going on like with the uh, Porter's organization that he's part of, you know, what's going on with the vampires, and find if there's a way to prevent the w a war from happening between them. And um, and uh, it's really cool, you know, and uh, yeah. And it also leaves some uh, questions to leave, you know, for the inevitable sequels that are going to happen because this one was really good, you know, such as what is uh, the, such as uh, what is the, um, the, uh, <clears throat> the thing that Hu Hu Hubert, that Isaac saw in uh, Hubert, that weird Lovecraftian thing or whatever, or as well as what exactly is did uh, the Johannes Gutenberg is, or what did he, what he wound up becoming, and um, of course, and I look forward to them uh, giving us an answer in these extra, you know, in the sequels, and which of course I'm sure are going to be going to be coming out. Don't know when, but they will, and um, yeah. <clears throat> and overall, because of the super imaginative stuff, like there, there are limitations to their abilities, but um, and li li like do some stuff explaining, but there's still like a lot of questions. But um, I'll just say like it's magic; they don't really need to explain much, or they do, but it actually just sort of adds more questions. And um, you know, such as like a. Uh, of course, such as like dealing with like how they lock books out and uh, how they um, they can't you know summon say characters like because it has to be like the size of the book you know so like there's limitations and um, uh, yeah uh, other stuff which would probably be better explained if you just read the book and you pr really should it's really good you know. Overall, I give this my personal comfort level recommendation rating of a 5 out of 5. Definitely worth reading. Definitely worth your time. Definitely recommended. <clears throat> anyway, um, until next time, would you kindly join me as we take a look at a prequel to a great video game? Until then, see you later. Keep yourselves awesome by going out continuing to read more books going out support your local library by you know with you know donating or checking stuff out and what have you 
And uh, if you have a suggestion for me or for other readers or other viewers who are, might be watching this, please leave so in the comment section below or wherever it is. And have a nice day.